Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kimmy. If you're new, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. I am just doing my skincare. I just showered, obviously. Tuesdays, which is today, Gavin has his swim class. So we did that this morning, and then I always like to come home and get us showered like right away. Gotta get all the chlorine off. My skin has been so, my skin has been so unbelievably dry. So last time I talked to you, um, if you saw my last vlog, I was sharing how we were going away on a vacation and we went to Aruba. We met with my family there and it was just, it was so much fun. It was Gavin's first time meeting some of his cousins and they just had so much fun playing together. Six girls and then there's Gavin and it was just, they had a lot of fun. It was really good, a really good time and I was so happy to be at the beach. We live in Arizona and obviously I don't live near a beach. The closest that I can get to a beach is like five hours I believe. So we decided when we were there, we were like, yeah, we need to do a beach trip every year. I think we're gonna like drive out to California or something because we're from Massachusetts. So we grew up going to the beach. Like I always went to the beach and then when you leave, you don't realize how much you really loved it and cherished it until you leave. And yeah, so we just miss it. So I intended on vlogging when I was there, but that just like, it didn't happen. I kind of thought that I was gonna stick with like my same routine. Like I wasn't gonna, like I was gonna stick with Gavin's routine and really like everything as soon as we got there just like went out the window kind of. I mean, we did have a good routine going, but it wasn't like being at home. And I, for some reason, and I've been to Aruba many times and I've been, I've traveled from Aruba. I mean, I've traveled from Phoenix to Aruba one other time. And we go the same week every three to four years. And I thought that the time difference from Phoenix to Aruba was only one hour different. I thought that they were one hour ahead. So I was assuming that I was just going to either stick to our usual routine or to switch him over to um, Aruba time. And then when we were there, like a day in, my family was like, no, it's a three hour difference from Arizona. And I was like floored. And I was, cause the first day I was like, why are we so off? Everything was just so challenging. And it was because of that. So all in all, I had a really challenging time with like trying to figure out routines and stuff and just everything. So I ended up not vlogging, but I did capture a few clips that I will insert right here. So we stay at a timeshare and we stay at the same place every year. My family has a shared timeshare. And so we all end up, me and my siblings all end up renting out other rooms in the same place from other people that own timeshares. And we stayed right on the beach, which is perfect because we could just go back up to our room at any time that we need to do like nap time. I also had a restaurant right there, which is really great. So we could just grab lunch. We could just grab lunch while we're on the beach. And they also had a really nice pool that was perfect. They had like a one foot pool for kids, which was really great. And then they also had a park, which was really perfect because Gavin really loves going to the park. And basically we just did like the beach the entire time and the pool the entire time. and. We ate a lot of food and it was just a really good time. The only excursion that we did this time around was we did a catamaran, a sunset cruise, and it was beautiful. It was a lot of fun. So that was really cool seeing the sunset from the water. We just hung at the beach the entire time. We swam in the ocean, which felt so nice and refreshing. It's always so fun and we just had a good time. It was Gavin's first time seeing the ocean, so that was really, really cool. We got to enjoy that memory with him of him seeing the ocean, exploring the beach, and he just absolutely loved the beach so much. It was really, really fun. So I'm glad that we went. I was so nervous leading up to this trip because I was 
freaking out about our flight. Our flight was an overnight flight. We left, um, we left our home at like nine o'clock at night and we got to Aruba the next day, like around noon. And it was just a really long night. I will say traveling with a toddler, I don't know about like older kids, but traveling with a toddler, traveling at night was so much better. He slept the entire flight and then we had a layover. So the first flight he slept the entire time and then the next flight in the morning he slept and then he was only up for like a couple hours. So we only had like a couple hours of entertaining him. So it really wasn't even that bad. It was the way home that I knew was going to be even worse and I had to entertain him for a day flight and it was a struggle and we were on the airplane for like so long. It took forever for our first flight to take off and then it took forever for us to get to the gate and it was just, that was so hard. It was really hard to be stuck on there. And then the last flight Gavin slept until we got home. So that was, that was perfect. I feel like I am still off though from the time change. I am like lathering up in, this is the moisturizer I've been using for a while from Kopari. I'm lathering up because from being in the sun and the sand and the ocean, my skin is so unbelievably dry. And I thought that being in humidity would be good for my skin, but it really didn't matter because I think we were just in the water so much. I'm gonna do my makeup. I also have a lot more to fill you in on. I'm going to finish up my makeup and then I'm hungry. We got home from swim at like 12.15 and then I had, um, I made Gavin's lunch, but I was so hungry. So I just heated up some leftover brown rice pasta that we had and I ate that like so fast, but it didn't have like any protein or anything in it. So I am going to make a falafel bowl. I made falafel yesterday. I meal prep some for the week. So I'm going to remake that bowl. So we'll make it together. But I'm gonna do my makeup and then I will see you when we make the falafel. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this really quietly because Gavin is napping and his room is like, it's not very far from the kitchen. So we're gonna do this quietly. I'm gonna heat up my falafel, but let me show you it. So I meal prepped a batch of falafel. I'm gonna share the recipe below if you are interested because it is so good. But here they are. They're very green. I added some extra greens in because gotta get in those greens. So let's make a little bowl. I'm gonna heat up about like, like four of them. I just threw them right in the pan over there and then we're gonna assemble the rest of our bowl. I have to say that I am someone that really, really loves to make my meals at home. Like, I just love home cooked meals. It's just how I am. Being away from my kitchen was so hard. Like it was, it was really difficult for me to eat out every day. We haven't done that, like a vacation like that in like so long where we were eating out for like a whole week. I don't think that we've done it since our honeymoon, like an entire week. And I remember coming back from our honeymoon and feeling, I was also drinking at the time, I don't drink anymore, but I remember coming home and just feeling like absolute crap, like absolute crap. It doesn't even matter if you're eating salads at restaurants, like they still find ways to sneak in things that really genuinely make you feel like crap. And this time around, um, I did make smoothies every morning because we had a, it, the, the timeshare is basically like a condo. So we had the kitchen, we had a blender. So we were able to make food there, but we ate out for lunch and dinner. And I actually was able to get a healthy lunch. I got like, um, like the, this tofu bowl that was really good. It had like seaweed and avocado and sweet potatoes in it. It was really good, but I did have like some fries with that. <laughs> So I feel like I just wasn't feeling my best. My digestion was so off and I'm sure that like you can relate when you go away, things are just really different and then you come home and th literally the, we got home Saturday night, Sunday we ate all home cooked meals and the next day I was like, wow, I feel so much better. My digestion was immediately back to normal. It's just crazy. The bowl itself is actually extremely easy to put together. It's just the making of the falafel that takes a little bit because you gotta put 
all the ingredients in a food processor or blender and then blend that up and bake it. And that's the only hard part, but you can actually double the falafel recipe and you can freeze half of the batch and then have half for one week, half for a future week. That's what I love to do. You guys know I love to meal prep. I meal prep everything whenever I am cooking something that's going to take a long time, like a tray bake or things like falafel or something like that. I like to make a lot of them and then store them in the freezer for later because, or even just to have throughout the week, meal prepping really does make a huge difference and it also helps you eat healthier. I feel like I struggled so much in the beginning of my journey because I never had anything prepped and I was always just gravitating towards like things that were easy and having things like prepped and ready to go really is a game changer. I have some leftover cucumber from yesterday. I'm just going to quickly dice this up. I made this bowl with the intention of it being like a gut friendly bowl. So we're adding sauerkraut. I'm gonna show you the sauerkraut that I use. I personally like to use a purple sauerkraut or red sauerkraut. Um, uh, it's made from red cabbage. But I think the one that I use has beets in it and it makes it like extra vibrant and it's so good. So we're doing yellow bell pepper, cucumber, and then I didn't add this yesterday, but I'm gonna add avocado. The avocados were not ready yesterday. And I have some leftover from Gavin's quesadilla. So I have a perfectly ripe avocado. We're just gonna add this right in. The sauerkraut I use. I don't know if they have it everywhere. This one, let's see. Yes, it's red cabbage, carrots, beets. And it's from this company called Pickled Planet. It's the best. I will say that it is super pink after like a while of opening it and letting it like oxidize and stuff, it does become like more of a darker purple. I personally go through it like so much. Like I try to eat some every day, or at least I should. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do like a bunch. You can literally eat it on its own. It's so good. And then I have some cilantro. I'm just gonna add a good little mini handful right in there. And then I have some microgreens. I'm just gonna also throw those on top because they are packed with vitamins and nutrients. I think these are kale microgreens. And what's crazy is that they have more vitamins and nutrients than kale itself. So these are just like the little, it's just micro kale. This is what I use right here. So good. I didn't even add the dressing on it yet. But like, this looks amazing. I'm just gonna literally drizzle that right on top. And it's so good. I'll post the recipe for the full bowl below. But let me give you a little close up before I go dig in. Here is our bowl. We have our falafel, avocado, microgreens, and cilantro. Our sauerkraut, cucumber, bell pepper. There's greens underneath. And the tahini sauce. Okay. Let's do a taste test. It's very hard to get a good bite. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. mm. It's actually so much better with the avocado. And it's just wow. So I'm really excited because I have a big, big, big life update. Like, <laughs> my life is changing. I am pregnant and I'm so excited that I can finally share it. Well, not that I couldn't share it. It was just, I wanted to keep it a secret for a while and I was waiting until my next appointment so I could make sure that everything was okay before I shared with anyone and like the public, like on Instagram and stuff. So, this will come out after my appointment. So my appointment is tomorrow afternoon and then this will, I'll post this the next day. So if I'm posting it, it means that everything is looking good and okay. I'm over the moon excited. So I'm 17 and a half weeks pregnant and I thought that I would share sooner because with Gavin, I was like, I wanna share right away. So at 14 weeks I shared with him, um, I shared that I was pregnant with him and 
I feel like this time around, I'm like a little more nervous. I don't know if it's just because it's my second pregnancy and I feel like I know that not everyone has such an easy experience with pregnancy or having kids in general and I feel like I'm just so much more nervous as I get older and with all of the stories that I hear of other people's journeys and I was just so nervous that something could possibly happen and I also just felt like wow like is this really happening again like am I really getting this lucky again and I just feel like I just wasn't ready to share until I was getting closer to the halfway point so I feel comfortable sharing now and I'm really excited it's been crazy ever since like basically December and January those two months specifically were like really, really rough for me. It was my first trimester. I experienced a rough one with Gavin. I knew what I was expecting. I knew what to expect. I knew that I was going to be feeling all of the things, including sickness, which I had again, and nausea all day. Um, I was pretty moody. Not super moody, but I definitely was moody. I also lacked motivation, which I felt with Gavin a lot. It's probably, I probably hate that part more than being sick and nauseous. I would rather be sick and nauseous than feel unmotivated. And I was just feeling like, felt really down a lot of the time. Like my routine just completely went away. In the morning, I'm someone that like loves to get up, get, ready and just get out of the house go for a walk get my workouts in and I felt like in the morning I just couldn't get off the couch and I know that's because I was so tired but I also lacked so much motivation and I felt like it was just so hard we got into like this routine of like watching tv in the morning which I'm like a no tv before at least noon type of person even before Gavin that's just how I was like no tv before noon like even waiting till nighttime is like best and I feel like we got into a routine of like watching TV in the morning and that was like, that really hit me hard because I was like feeling so guilty as a parent doing that and especially like it wasn't even for me to use that time to do something productive. It was for me to literally just sit there and just be unmotivated and tired but it is what it is and we got through that and the past few weeks I've been... I've been feeling way more energized, like so much better. I have my motivation back. I feel better. I'm not as nauseous and I'm not sick anymore, which stopped about like last week or the week before. So I'm feeling like just so much better. I feel like going away on vacation and getting out of my house really helped me to re-establish the routine that I wanted to have at home. Like I feel like I was trying to get back into a routine and I started gaining more energy. It wasn't until we went away and I really started feeling more inspired, more motivated and just feeling better. And now that we're home, I'm like, okay, everything's back to normal. So, so things are like feeling good. I'm in my second trimester and I'm at a place where I'm still comfortable. I'm not so big yet. I definitely popped way sooner this time than I did with Gavin. Um, and I'm just in a place where I'm feeling energized. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited. And I am really excited to bring you along on this journey. If you are going through this journey, looking forward to this journey one day, um, this is my second pregnancy. So I know more of what to expect this time around and especially like the planning part planning for like the big day and i am just excited to be able to share this with you i'm going to be open and honest every step of the way and show you the meals that i'm making and sharing all of the healthy things i'm doing for myself while pregnant i'm just really excited that i'm finally feeling ready to share this because it's it's a journey and it's a process and also with sharing everything I do want to keep in mind that not everyone is able to have kids everyone's journey is completely different to find
finding their way to building a family. So I am mindful of that, but I'm also super mindful that there are people out there that are pregnant and maybe you're one of them, maybe you're looking forward to get pregnant one day. So I would love to be able to share some inspiration if that happens to you. So that's what's going on with me. It's been kind of a crazy past few months. I think this is also why I was so nervous about the trip is because I was pregnant and I was really feeling like rough and the few months leading up, I was like not wanting to go, wasn't feeling like this would be a good thing. And now that we went, I'm like feeling so good and I'm feeling more inspired. I'm just feeling more energized and yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here and I will see you in the next video and please subscribe. I will be sharing more healthy day in the life videos, healthy eating videos, as well as some pregnancy inspiration and stuff. So follow along on my journey and I will see you in the next video.